This week only, you have a unique opportunity to get multiple free huges if you follow this easy method for destroying the chest raid. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step to show you how you can do this for yourself at practically any level. How much you can really make from this really depends on what your setup is like, but the better the setup you have, the more you can actually make. Now, if this video helps you out, remember to like and subscribe for more helpful Pet Simulator 99 content. But let's just get right into what you're going to need for these runs. All right, you guys. So let me start off by shouting out my good friend Veso because his video on these runs is actually what inspired this video for me. And as you guys can see on the leaderboard behind me, Veso has gone up to room level 171, which is absolutely crazy. And if you want to watch that run, I'll have the link down to his video below. I would definitely check that video out if you plan on doing some leaderboard runs. Now, before I actually get into anything that actually helps you out with these runs, let me just remind you guys that once you actually do these runs, you could go ahead and sell these things off. So even though some of these enchants and stuff that I might suggest that you buy are expensive, you can almost immediately get your gems back by just going ahead and selling it right after you do these runs. Now, given that information, the most important suggestion that I have for you guys with these runs on the chest raid is that you definitely need the best stat pet in the game. And currently the highest power stat pet in the game that you can get is currently a 15.5 trillion power pet. And of course, there's gonna be a good version as well as an evil version available. Now, I'm pretty certain both of them do the exact same. I was just able to find the warrior wolf for actually cheaper. So I would suggest looking for this one over the evil version. And honestly, you can find this for around 25 million diamonds in the trading plaza. So I would definitely look for it around that price range. But no matter what you do, this is probably going to be your most important investment if you actually want to push these leaderboards. Now, stat pets are super important in Pet Simulator 99 because they pretty much dictate your damage for everything that you do. Your stat pet determines your damage for exclusives, huges, titanium mechanics and even your tap damage. And if you've done a chest raid before, you know tap damage is super important for it. And that's why having a good stat pet overall is just gonna be such a big benefit for you and why I can't suggest enough that you get the best stat pet in the game if you wanna push these leaderboards. Now, my next suggestion for you guys is one that people actually often forget about, but your charms on your huge pets are super important, especially in an event like this. I would just make sure you go ahead and don't have any wasted charm slots on your huges as you can see my top 15 huges are pretty much maxed out for damage right now so basically having royalty charms as well as strength charms on your huges is going to make a huge impact on how far you are going to be able to go in these rooms now if you can't afford to have royalty charms on all of your huges that you have I would suggest using at least one agility charm just so your pets move pretty quickly because that movement speed is going to be very important as well for this. But besides that, just using the agility charm plus some strength charms is going to be a pretty good replacement for royalty. So you don't necessarily need this, but I would definitely just make sure you don't have any useless charms like take off all of your glittering and stuff like that. None of that is going to help you with these runs. So that's just why I cannot stress enough that you do take advantage of your charm slots now something you just saw me put away is actually my shiny hoverboard so using a shiny hoverboard will help you out a lot as well because obviously the faster you move the quicker you can get through these rooms so having a shiny hoverboard is going to be super important for a lot of you guys you don't need anything fancy I would just go ahead and get whatever the cheapest one currently is I'm pretty sure the shiny mosaic hoverboard is probably a good option it's pretty cheap I think it's about 10 million diamonds cheaper than this one right here but personally i actually really like this shiny rich hoverboard because it doesn't take up a lot of space on the screen and honestly i don't really see it most of the time as much as i like the shiny helicopter hoverboard it takes up so much space with the spinning blades and everything that i can pretty much not even see what i'm grinding half the time so i did have to sell that on this character and get this hoverboard instead now personally for me i'm not pushing it to be the top of the leaderboard or anything 
I truly just want to get the gold version of this huge on this leaderboard. But if I truly did try, I could get past stage 142. This is just the stage that I've got to pretty casually doing this method. So currently, if you are on the evil side, you can expect that you need around stage 140 if you want to be able to get the golden huge. Now, definitely keep in mind, there still is three days left in this competition. So this number is going to change and I'm sure I'm going to have to go past stage 142 if I am going to want to stay in this spot for this golden huge. So if you are watching this in a day or two, just keep that in mind and check the leaderboard out for yourself. But moving on to the enchant loadout, here it is. Your best friend with this enchant loadout is definitely going to be these chest breaker books. Now, for some reason, it seems like the chest rate is completely broken with enchants for some reason and because of that the chest breaker book actually is stacking in damage now i have no idea why this is chest breaker has never stacked before up to my knowledge but for this purpose it definitely is stacking so i'm gonna suggest that you guys get like five of these books because that seems like it's the sweet spot for doing the max amount of damage in these raids now i think you can use more than five but i found that this number is just kind of the sweet spot for doing it and then another really important enchant with this loadout is actually the super lightning so don't ask me why but the super lightning actually gives you a big bonus damage to these rays i don't really understand it but testing before and after using super lightning there is definitely a big difference in damage dealt and in the same way we're also using the regular lightning and then empowering one of these strong pet nine books is also going to give you an additional strength boost of 189 percent for your pets so this is very good now i do have to mention that the criticals enchant doesn't seem to be working in these chest raids so i would definitely not use that and i would stick to using this strong pets nine and then on top of that empowering the enchant just gives it that good bonus that definitely helps out so i would do that if i were you guys and then finally i do also empower a speed five book which not only increases the speed of my pets but also increases my speed as a player which is also very important all of this is going to come together to help you to push these raid levels even further now if you are free to play and you only have six slots i think the setup that i would use would honestly probably be this which would be five chest breakers and a super lightning enchant now i know these chest breaker enchants are super expensive right now because everybody is doing these chest raids so everybody wants them and the price is super high but like i said earlier if you can afford it just buy it do the run and then sell it after as long as you get that position on the leaderboard and you are in the top 1000 you're gonna get a free huge no matter what but if you don't have this many chest breakers then using something like the lightning or the speed five or even the strong pets books is going to be a good alternative for you i just think if you are maximizing damage this is just going to be your best bet so i can't really suggest you to do anything else basso in his video actually does use this shiny supercharged book but just make sure you're only using the shiny supercharged book if you already are maxed out on strong pets because if you look at the description of these books the strong pets book is actually stronger than the shiny supercharged even if you do have shiny pets but if you do empower two of these enchants using this as a third enchant will help you out with your damage now as well when you are in the chest raid runs your potions do go out so it does seem like potions do affect things so i would definitely make sure you are using your speed three potions to get that player and pet speed which is super important as well as using these cocktails cocktails are pretty much good for everything because it gives you walk speed as well as the extra little damage boost and then using whatever your strongest damage potion is just going to be an additional benefit now when you are going through these rooms your pets will only follow your taps if you are in the little dotted line area so i would make sure you are spending as little time as possible outside of these dotted line areas so that you can be breaking as many chests even if they are far away the best way to do this is pretty much like doing a little bunny hop from area to area making sure that you keep landing inside of the little dotted line areas 
By doing this, you are going to be able to constantly be hitting breakables and take no breaks at all, which believe it or not, will speed up your time and probably give you an additional 10 rooms that you can get through if you do this little bunny hop method. And if you do all of those methods that I just talked about, you will be able to get on this leaderboard in no time and get a free huge in three days when this leaderboard's done. But if you do feel very motivated and you actually do really like doing these raids, then you could also easily get this golden huge as well, which is going to be worth quite a bit after this event is over. Do keep in mind that there is a lot of RNG with these rooms because there are a lot of specific rooms that are actually like really easy to get through. And then there's two other rooms that take a significant amount longer. So the more of those rooms that you get compared to the easy rooms is going to slow you down a lot. So do not get too discouraged. Just keep trying at it and hopefully you will get a lucky level and be able to fly through the ranks. If this video helped you out, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel and join my discord for daily huge giveaways. Sorry, there hasn't been a video in the past few days. I'm on a vacation right now and I forgot my hoodie, so I wasn't able to make a video for the past few days. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and peace out.